was handing YouTube. Let's dive right into this. Now, let's get into something that's very controversial right now going around the internet. And it's in regards to these t-shirts, man. Again, we have to talk about this, even though I didn't want to. But let's talk about it, homie. Someone sent me a screenshot of, I, I believe it was a full community post, bro. Where Swamp Stories, the YouTube channel, I guess he was in the on Instagram in the comments disrespecting the Southsiders because of the t-shirt that they made, you know, with Woody and all them on the t-shirt and whatnot. And he was calling them scraps. Now, I don't know who the hell Swamp Story is, bro. I don't know what he's about. I, he can be <laughs> from freaking China somewhere. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? At first, I'm not going to lie. I kind of laughed at it when I seen it. You feel me? But then I'm like, why is he doing that? You know, maybe, you know, I troll sometimes in, in the comments. Maybe he was just trolling. But then again, you know, that ain't cool. And then after the fact, right, Food Community takes the post down. Why Food Community takes the post down? I don't know. I mean, if you're going to post something, just post it and leave it up right now the reason why i believe the food community took the post down and i could be wrong is because when the northerners responded with the with t-shirts of their own that's when i believe food community took their post down with the south siders on it because in all reality like let's be real if the food community didn't post that post tell me none of us would have knew we don't follow that fool you know what I'm saying? We don't follow Grave, whatever the hell his name is, the upstate rapper that initiated all this. None of us follow that fool. We would have never known if the fool community would have never made that post. And if the fool community would have never made that post, the North Daniels would have never put Cheyenne Cadena on a t-shirt. And now a lot of people are upset. You know, as us content creators and having these platforms, I mean, of course, their platform is, you know, they have a way bigger platform than me. But whether you're a small platform or a bigger platform, you know, you have to uh, take accountability sometimes, but well not sometimes, all the time of what you post. When I was young in my content creative days, you know what I'm saying, I would post a lot of stuff that was maybe derogatory toward, towards the upstate dudes. But I've learned and I've grown from that since then, you know what I'm saying? I've learned and I've grown, homie. You know, you got to learn how to maneuver. And contrary to what some people may believe or even think or say, uh, you know, I try to be more professional now in my content, bro. You feel me? Or post anything controversial or diagonal without giving context behind it. Because we're going to use the famous no jumper line where, where he says that Adam 22 says, if it's newsworthy, right? If it's newsworthy, bro, we're going to post it. You hear me? So. So my question to the food community and all you food followers, if the first post from the Southsiders was newsworthy and made it to the page of the food community on Instagram, then how come the ones the North Daniels made weren't newsworthy? The uh, food community prides themselves on a being an unbiased platform. They post a t-shirt with three dead North Daniel rappers on it with a diss song connected to it, right? Or whatever the case is, the, the rapper that... Made the t-shirt, had a diss song or something like that, right? And when the Northanials respond, it's crickets over there. You feel what I'm saying? But like I said, bro, none of us would have never known about this damn t-shirt if the food community would have never posted it. And that's a fact. Just like I'm pretty sure no Southsiders would have ever known about the Northanial t-shirts that they made if I didn't post it. And now I take full responsibility for that because I even told the homies, like, send it to the food community, bro. Tell them to post it. They're the one that posted the Southsiders t-shirt. So send it to them. Have them post it. Now, why Swamp Stories is calling these fools uh, out their names and calling them, you know what I'm saying, the S word? Bro, uh, <laughs> Swamp Stories is crazy, man. <laughs> hey, Swamp Stories, what's happening, Cuddy? Uh, man, you got to be smooth. <laughs> Southsiders going to get you, bro. <laughs> you got big back and be boo, my nigga. <laughs> they said they said the South Side is on your lean, yeah. You know <laughs> Y'all let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'm gone.